Hi guys, it's Chef Ramsey. Now, um, I need to talk to all of you because I just want to apologize because this is a very difficult moment right now and you know all of you are my second family and right now, unfortunately, all your wishes have been cancelled. But let me tell you some good news. The minute this nasty virus disappears, I can't wait to see you guys. And more importantly, spending time with you is important for me. So that makes it even more exciting when I get to see you. Now, whether you come to see me on the set of MasterChef, MasterChef Junior, trust me, I can't wait to see you. Please, please, please hang in there. Stand strong. Enjoy all this time with mum and dad and your siblings. I know it's hard, but I do understand the pain because getting to meet you makes my day, makes my week, my month, my year. And like I said, your family. So stand strong. Can't wait to see you. Lots of love and take care. In recent news, Chef Gordon Ramsay has been getting shade thrown at him from locals in Cornwall. Some villagers are upset because he moved his holiday home here with the fam in order to isolate. In his defense, he's long maintained a vacation home in Cornwall and the new massive one he's had in the works is nearing completion too. In this video, we'll take a look at Gordon's fancy getaway in Cornwall, his main house in London, and even his Los Angeles mansion. Gordon James Ramsay is a famous British chef, restaurateur, TV personality, writer, and more, who was born in Scotland but raised in England. We best know him from shows like Hell's Kitchen as well as his award-winning restaurants around the globe. In fact, they have been presented 16 Michelin stars in total and currently hold seven. Pretty impressive. We know Chef Ramsay well for presenting TV shows about competitive cookery like Hell's Kitchen, The F Word, and Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, as well as the American versions of the shows and Master Chef. The list goes on. Not to mention Gordon's bluntness, sometimes explosive temper, and frequent use of curse words makes the man memorable, and he has a personality that makes for good entertainment. At the time of this recording, Gordon is 53 years old and happily married. He and his wife Tana have five children together, the youngest being their baby son Oscar. He's taken the whole family of seven up to Cornwall to spend the quarantine together. Currently, a Gordon's net worth is estimated at a massive $220 million, and this fortune has awarded him mansions around the globe. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be taking a look at Chef Gordon Ramsay's properties, including his mansions in Cornwall, London, and even LA. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Tyler Perry and Luke Bryan, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I also read all your comments, and I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Gordon posted a video to Instagram recently that gave fans a glimpse into part of the beautiful second home he and his family share in Cornwall. The house is in Trebetherick near Damer Bay, which is a village on the north coast of Cornwall. Although it's well known for vacation homes, there are plenty of locals living there. It was reported that these locals from villages nearby are furious with the chef after moving his family there to isolate during the pandemic. Apparently they're worried that Gordon may have brought the virus with him from London and is putting others at risk, so they want him the hell out of Cornwall. One local even accused him of ignoring government in orders to stay home, saying he's swanning around the shops as if nothing is wrong. But others believe that Gordon has just as much right to be there as anyone else. A friend said, The family see Cornwall as their family home when the kids are back from uni and Gordon's back from filming around the world. It's where they spend all their family time together. They've been spending time there for 10 years and Jack actually lives in the house there full time too. Not to mention they've been following government advice along with everyone else. I mean, if the man spent over 4 million on a home in Cornwall, I think he's allowed to stay in Cornwall. So let's Let's take a look at the place, shall we? Like I said, Gordon spent about $4 million on this house and it's stone built with a spacious outdoor area. He's actually having a bigger, better mansion built in Rock Cornwall, but this house was purchased to live in while that one is under construction. The garden at this home has a large paved area from what we can see with tables and chairs being big enough for the whole family and another separate seating area. We can also see the kitchen at this place thanks to Gordon's Instagram. He's been treating us to some at home cooking videos while he's bored. Peel the apples, slice them, take out the core and the rhubarb. I've peeled off all those fibers bits of the rhubarb. The secret now is to make a very, very quick caramel. So start off with about three tablespoons of sugar. Now, really important that we turn that into a caramel, okay? Turn the gas up. What I'm trying to do now is get rid of that sort of tartness of those apples. In here, I've got 150 grams of sultanas and 150 grams of golden raisins. 
This is a delicious vodka. It's a cocoa nib infused, so it's a sort of light chocolate vodka. That goes in. About 250 ml. And rehydrate those sultanas and currants. You'll see why. That'll make them nice and plump. Now look at the camera. The kitchen here looks fresh with marble countertops and lots of blue and white. And we've seen more snippets of Gordon's multi-million dollar cottage in his TikTok videos. Yes, that's right, even he made his own TikTok and has been filming some with his kids. Maybe Oscar even got one crawling out of the home. At this home, also known as the Damer Bay House, Gordon got permission from the Cornwall Council some time ago to build an igloo-style wood cabin in the back garden. It was set to be built at the bottom of the property and is meant to serve as a place to stay for visiting friends and family. Estonian company Igloo Craft are understood to be the makers of the igloos, which can go up to 40k in price, and they're handcrafted from natural materials. In Gordon's planning application, the igloo had accommodation with space for a bed, kitchen, living room area, and toilet. It's said to be a single story with with four beds, insulated flooring, and more. I'm not sure if Gordon got this add-on finished yet, but it sounds like a less expensive version of a full guest house. Although he may be saving some bucks on the current property, the Ramsey family is set to upgrade to a new place in nearby Rock Cornwall very shortly. Gordon purchased the site of a 1920s house back in 2015 for over five mil and demolished the old place after winning a planning dispute. This mansion is right on the beach and just from photos, you can see it's more expansive and modern. The multi-million dollar vacation home has large windows all over, offering views right to the water. It sits on a half acre piece of land between Rock Road and Port Ely Beach. Gordon's Rock House will feature two kitchens, four beds with ensuite baths, a wine cellar, a gym, two terraces, and a swimming pool. And that's just the main house. There's also a neighboring yet smaller garden house which will have three beds and a boat store situated by the water. I guess we'll just have to wait and see the rest of this one. We know that Gordon also has a main family home in London, England where they spend most of their time. This place is a luxurious multi-million dollar town home and of course it's close to a lot of his restaurants. We've seen the inside of the home on social media and there's an open plan living and dining area that are entered just off the main entryway. Although at first glance Gordon's home may not look huge, there are enough bedrooms for everyone. Even each of the kids kids and space for the family pets, three dogs, a cat, and a tortoise. It looks like a lot of the space on the main floor goes to Gordon's enormous kitchen, which is to be expected. There are two cooking ranges each set in their own island. One is more modern, while the other is an old-fashioned gas-powered stove. Windows line one side of the room, and at the far end of the kitchen, three steps lead to the casual sitting room, which also leads out to the garden. There's also a family breakfast bar attached to the kitchen for less formal meals and just hanging out. Then there's a living room with off white sofas and polished wooden flooring, and at the end of the kitchen there's a sunken cubby hole room. There's a long wooden table here and comfy cushions to sit on. The skylight in the ceiling lets in plenty of natural light, and it looks like this is a room Gordon and his family love to hang out in. Gordon's London house also has a larger and more formal dining room, which is where they put their Christmas tree during holiday season, as well as a family dining room for the big meals. The dog beds are also in the dining room so they don't feel left out. Personally, I love the art here, which features Disney characters like Donald Duck and Minnie and Mickey Mouse. All the family bedrooms are located upstairs by the looks of it, and I'm sure Gordon and Tannis is the most lavish. Outside the London home, there are polished gardens, trees and bushes for privacy, and a secret pathway covered in ivy at the back of the property. Gordon spends a lot of time in Los Angeles and Las Vegas for work, so of course he invested in a mansion to live in while he's there. Back in 2012, he purchased a mansion for $6.75 million in the elite guard-gated community of Bel Air Crest in Bel Air, Los Angeles. Gordon and his family stay at this gorgeous home when they're across the pond in the US. The mansion spans 7,413 square feet of living space and sits on a one acre lot, offering views of the canyon, city, and ocean. What more could you ask for? The house was built in 2003, designed by star architect Ken Unger, and it has five beds and six baths. Just by looking at photos of the home, it has all the fixings of a million dollar place like high ceilings, beamed ceilings in some other rooms, a grand entryway, and of course, a winding staircase. Gordon's Bel Air home comes with generous living spaces with room for the whole family like living rooms, dining areas, and of course a huge luxury kitchen for him to work in. We've also seen what Gordon and Tana have done with the house since moving in thanks to their social media. Gordon and his fam have posted on Instagram and in their stories in the past showing living areas which had cream sofa, 
sofas, a coffee table with books and family photos hanging. The dining room has a light up smiley face on the wall and bright blue chandelier above the black wooden table. The Ramseys seem to love these fun light up wall signs considering their daughter Holly's room she has her name spelled out in lights above her head. Another bedroom has a neon quote light above the headboard and yet another in their huge hallway. Moving outside Gordon's LA mansion you'll find an infinity pool and spa which is expected and more space to entertain. Alright guys, that's all I got on Chef Gordon Ramsay's properties. We've seen the main house in London he calls home with his family, his Beller place, as well as the Cornwall vacation home. Or should I say home since he's building the new one? Anyways, which was your fave? I'm looking forward to seeing what his new holiday mansion in Cornwall is gonna look like. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!